guys, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. We finally almost have the entire Western Caribbean. We're still missing Eastern half, though we did beat their armies back. So since we beat their armies, I'm going to go raid them. Because <laughs> free money is good money. I tell ya. Steal. Well, if you can raid. Sorry. We don't steal here. It's, uh, it's obviously ours. Oh, come on. I was having fun. For you. Uh, you'll deal with them. I'm sure the Empire will. What do you even want? What is your actual goal? Hold up. Because it's like independence. Uh, you can win. <laughs> you can be fine. Takes occupied titles from Emperor Makuro. Yeah, sure. Again, if you can weaken this guy, I don't care. Literally. You know, I say that, and then there's another one. Where's the other one? Is it the same place? <laughs> Is this guy getting double rebels? God. It just sucks to have half rebels, doesn't it? Yeah, both of them are there. Yeah, you can have that. I don't care. You're a king. You're a big boy. Go deal with it yourself. Who are you, my half-brother? Ah, learn on your own, buddy. My job to babysit you. I'm surprised she has so many boats. It's insane. A ridiculous amount. Will I feel bad for them? I think they got this, don't they? And even if they don't, I do I care. Like, actually, I don't think I care. No, they have plenty of troops. Yeah, they're fine. Like I said. Let them deal with it themselves so they drain their own troops. Use her brains. Did you declare independence, my boy? Because that's not cool. You, you were kind of our thing. And yeah, you are pirates. Look at that. How did I know? Oh no, it's like I couldn't tell a thousand years ago when you had... <laughs> all your flags as pirate flags. Such a big surprise. Right. And toggle looter. Because I have absolute big brain. Also, my wife is pregnant, I think. No, someone I love is pregnant. Okay. I might legitimize him. The big one. Okay, what is this? A massive earthquake has struck Saray. The ground shifts and shakes, threatening to reduce her castle and cottage to a pile of smoldering rubble. Minor tremors are fairly common in Saray, but an earth-shifting convulsion this powerful occurs only once in a generation. The debris-strewn streets are full of corpses pinned beneath broken masonry. The moaning wounded stagger among the wreckage, attempting to rescue their kin. A bloody madman is screaming that the end is near and we'll see Armageddon soon. Fortifications must be repaired. Focus on firefighting efforts in the cities. I think this one's actually the best, yeah. Or, the common folk of Surrey must come first. I think firefighting efforts. Best. Yeah. Peasants are being troublesome. Awesome. Again, Surrey? Uh, yeah, focus on firefighting again. <laughs> it's not because I want diligent. What are you talking about? <laughs> Unit owner is at... P I'm just realizing that this is annoying. Really? I don't want to have to deal with that with my own troops. There you go, that's fine. Oh my god, what is this? What is occurring in Saray? <laughs> Focus on firefighting. Also, yeah, I'm not doing this with my own troops. You guys can do it. Fine, we'll st stay stationed there. Come on, send the troops over. Subjects in Surrey are calling for you to do something to protect them from future earthquakes. Codifying construction methods that produce sturdier buildings seems like a first good step. Oh uh, yeah, building codes for the whole realm.
Open steward seat. Uh, you're actually good, so go ahead and be my steward. Maybe some cash while you're at it. Uh, let's keep fabricating claims on, I don't know, here, I guess. We already have a claim here, don't we? Real quickly. Yeah, you're king. I don't care. You're king, buddy. Uh, 25 gold should be enough. There you go. Swayed him a bit. Nice. Uh, I need to do this. Yes, he like look. He's already dealing with them. Figured he would, or at least one of them would. <laughs> There's plenty of troops here. <laughs> yeah, this ain't even the emperor himself. This is someone beneath him, not emperor king. A uh, visitor. I am a bit lusty. So also, yeah, we won. So get out. Screw off. I'm just gonna have you go there because you're taking way too long. One of you both just run over there. See, kind of figured they'd do it on their own, so. Honestly, not too surprised. But I didn't want to take my own troops, so I'll use my vassal troops, though. Seems my nightmarish adventures resulted in child, little Eduardo. It's my spitting image. Well, wife, you aren't giving me any children, and you kind of suck. Are you even good? Like, at anything? <coughs> like... My heir is honestly just better at this point. It's not my direct lineage, but... Well, actually it is. She's my sister, isn't she? Yeah, it's my direct lineage. Let's get her an actual marriage. Ooh, quick dude. And Gregarious. Yeah, it's fine. Do I want to legitimize him? I don't think I do. No. I want an actual child. And if I don't get an actual child, I'll just move in with my uh, sister. Alright, we're at peace now. Good. I should go raiding. Uh, assemble a mob to make some money. <coughs> there we go. Got some cash. Usurp a title. How about no? <laughs> I don't want to bother with that. Actually, I could, but I'd have to give it to him, so no, I'm not going to. He wants more land and get himself. I'm not going to help him with it. How's the factions going? Yeah, you're still a douchebag. Uh, you're being a bit of a douche, so go ahead and... Try to sway your opinion. Just a mistake. It's a lot of troops. This island is just highly militarized. Uh, I got some tech. Good. Gotta carefully watch. I see their army coming around. Bye. <coughs> Let's go ahead on the other side of the island. See the Dominican Republic side. Go ahead and raid this half. Here they come. Leave. Go to this side. Right here. <coughs> We're just port hopping. It's pretty great. I gotta love, gotta love the pirate's life. The only good thing about this nation. Everything else, gotta <laughs> rally all your troops together with boats. Oh, man, cost so much money. I think that's where that 800 gold went that I was talking about. Just disappearing. Boats are just stupidly expensive. Even more than mercs. It's a bit ridiculous. And uh, this nation just requires boats, and it's annoying as hell. Because I don't like boats at all. Um, willing to share. Alright, become gregarious. Oh, 
Oh god, that's a lot of troops. I'm presuming this is... Of course this. When is it not him? He who is an asshole. I don't think anyone else over here is very worth looting, are you? And these troops are just like too f too much everywhere. Too many of them everywhere. I just don't want to bother. <laughs> uh, go ahead and just keep everyone safe. Oh my god, that's a lot of money though. That's a ridiculous amount of money. Just have them plunder just a bit. Uh, and then keep the roads clear, and those close to me safe. Okay, we're out. You're, you're free now. No, you're not. God, they're just, like, so high alert. Something worth raiding, though. <laughs> Tons of money. This thing can hold, like, so much cash, it's ridiculous. If you filled it up, it'd be insane. Bye! Have a good time. Uh, we could go here. No, we can't. It's poor. They're really stacking troops there, aren't they? Looks like they finally have troops everywhere, other than maybe here. <coughs> so. Might go here. <laughs> Okay, bye. <laughs> Might as well keep raiding. You're actually not doing that well, are ya? Bit annoying. Alright, we're gonna leave. And we're gonna be too slow about it, so we're not gonna leave. Or we're gonna leave. <laughs> I never know, understood why E4 and CK2 both do that. Even though it says that I can leave can't leave, sometimes the leaves, and then the inverse sometimes happens, where it says I can leave and then it doesn't let me leave. Uh, being a noble birth, of course, doesn't do anything for you. We are like, uh, who was it? One of our fathers before us who's just, I don't remember which one. Was it Chuck? I've been mean Chuck. Yes, yeah, Chuck. Where the capital? Hmm. Okay, they don't have troops up. I thought that was troops moving. Can't read them. Odd. Very. Is this island bigger than normal? I don't remember it being that big in real life. Maybe it is. I'm going crazy. <laughs> that was tinier. Yeah, I don't know too much about South American geography, but I know they did that with Venice and CK2. Like, Venice it is not a big circular island. <laughs> so I don't know if they scaled this up. I don't remember Trinidad being this big. Here it is. Uh, guilds and the Masons and Carpenters and Pinal de Rio are petitioning for you to repeal the current building codes. The codes were put in place in the aftermath of an earthquake, but the guild representative claims the codes are <coughs> onerous and costly. No, safety of my people comes first. Well... I don't even know. Is that like here? Yeah, building code plus 5%. Build time and cost. It's not that much. That's like, if it was 500 bucks, that's literally like 25 ducats. No, safety comes first. And the, <laughs> the damage from the earthquake was like. I don't know, like a couple hundred gold or something. <clears throat> so, no reason to repeal it. So, not gonna. Ah, yeah, finally, my wife is actually pregnant. Good. I made the right choice. Alright, um. 
295 gold is not too much, but it's fine. Oh my god. You know how they always, you know, benefit off us being in a civil war? How about we benefit off them? Hmm. I could. I could benefit off of them. Yeah, I would do it pretty well, actually. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, a small profit. Okay, it was worth it, but no. <laughs> Money ain't worth that. We could take... We could go into... Spaniola. <clears throat> but... It's a lot of troops. And I don't think we can really claim that much. Other than their capital, I guess. Well, the capital will be pretty good to take. Be a good landing point. But nah. I think I'll just take the land back from... Well... Uh, uh, I don't really want more islands. See, like... This is what I'm learning. I think I realize why... I'm losing so much money, and I realize why I'm doing so badly in wars now. It's probably because the fact... I have to literally sit around for two, three months trying to get all my troops together because they come from down here. I get some troops from over here sometimes, over here, over here. And putting them all together takes a lot of time. Which is why I generally, when I take my troops that are consolidated in the small area and go on like a big war, I basically blitzkrieg the enemy before they even can do anything. Like how I've done that with the Columbian Confederacy like three times now. But whenever I actually have to raise up vassal troops, everything takes infinitely longer. Yeah, they don't even that many troops regardless, so let's go ahead and do that, actually. Yeah. Um Yeah, you go ahead and Declare war for... What is the rebellion over, actually? Tyranny. Okay. So he can't let go. Gotcha. Good. It's on coast. Uh, raise from moron, because I am one. <laughs> uh, raise from there. Might as well... Raise from the Bahamas. That's so many boats, it's ridiculous. Literally. Also, just a ridiculous amount of boats. Raise from you. Raise from you. And raise from you, of course. Now, I don't even need to use my troops, so they can recover. Smart person in the comments. Remind me that I can do this. I used to do this, but I totally forgot it was a thing. Well, I, I know I could raise them, but I know I always thought it was just a bad idea. But, yeah. I like Anna. Anna. Does this sound a lot like, um... From, uh... What's it? Let it... Frozen? Yeah. I don't know why I struggle to remember what Frozen is. <laughs> Hello, that's a lot of army. Though I have more army, so I don't really care. Bye. I swear, if you see this land, I'll just seed you to death. Add more army. I don't have more army. Okay, fine. We'll go ahead and raise some of my own troops. Like, my two main counties. Well, they give me, like, no troops at all. 
comparative to my capital. I guess it's because I'm raising, I'm training troops in my capital. Uh, no, you're fine. Some other time. Okay, land them. Now we should be able to go crush them. I don't need to? <laughs> no, denounce the child. Stop being a lusty boy, dude. Am I seriously the best commander you have? Like, what? I guess I'm not bad, but I can't imagine that I'm... Well, okay, I have a lot of stats now. A lot of people just suddenly died and I have no idea why. And, yeah. Army crushed. Really didn't want to have to do that to you, but you kind of came into the land that I had to go siege, so sorry. I'm not going to let you win that easily either. This is my land again. <laughs> Been fighting for this for so many years. You surrender. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Um. Maybe don't split them in half. Just reorganize. Can I not reorganize these? I don't think I can. That's a bit lame. There you go. Don't need any more than 80. There. And there we go. Took back southern tip of Florida. Oh god, I forgot. Yeah, people hate me. Oh boy. Whenever this occurs, I think is when the rebellions start happening, because they just kind of stick around for like a while. Because they get that like... Oh yeah, you just tipped me just over the edge, and now I hate you forever. Which is fine, but like, it's a bit dumb, because like, I'm clearly going to hand these lands out to people who aren't me. <laughs> uh, who are you? Yeah, ransom you off for some cash. I don't think you matter. Um, only man. Give you... Wait, hold on. Check your stats. Yeah, you're actually a good person. Good. I have Tampa, then. Then you may have... You know, actually, now that I think about it... I don't know why I haven't done this before. You can have... County of... That. And then you can have the Duchy the Sun Coast. There you go. Now I actually have a good Merchant Republic in our lands. Should probably go to Miami, now that I think about it, but whatever. <laughs> we actually have a Merchant Republic, though, so that's good. We also probably should get a Theocracy somewhere, just so we have someone who does that kind of stuff, but yeah. Regardless, rating time. Because <laughs> they are at war, so I might as well you know, take that money from him. Who's my heir? I don't know what that's. Uh, I thought that said heir. Let's see if you a second. Okay, we can actually up stuff. I do remember actually. Now that I think about it, we haven't been building retinue troops for a while, and we are pretty low on them. Which is probably why we're getting so many rebellions, let's be honest. So, let's go ahead and get some good oops. Some cav. Some mambies. Some heavy infantry. Pikes. And we're out of money again. <laughs> Ooh, we do have dangerous factions, and I don't like that at all. You are just causing so many issues that I don't like you. I just want you gone. I wish I could disassemble. Could I kill you? No, because your child will just do the same thing. It's the do you have a uh, gavel kind? 
I can check, I don't remember. <laughs> if you have gavel kind, that'd work. But I don't think you have gavel kind, so. Because you have a lot of children. But you only have two male heirs, so it only split in half. If you had gavel kind. Why oh, check? I don't think I can. Oh, wait. Yep. You do have gavel kind instated. Because he is getting the Kingdom of Zapotec, which is this one. Okay, good. Well, we could kill you. Let's go ahead and kill you. I think my character would be willing to do that at this point. Yeah, and there's just enough people to kill him. So let's do that. Let's crush his uh, kingdom titles in half. Word of an epidemic. Is this seriously the Red Death too? Oh god. We received news of a horrible epidemic in Guadalcazar, part of Gran, Gran Kichiameca. At first, the rumors were thought to be exaggerated, but ever since this orderly arrival of inconceivable, inconsolable refugees at our gates, it has been difficult to ignore what is happening. Tell of various symptoms and our quarters from the area report seeing bloody lesions, people vomiting blood before dying. While others are driven into a mad frenzy, biting their caretakers at the froth of the mouth. <clears throat> Terror is spreading as rapidly as the disease, and so far there has been no mention of a cure. Only mass graves. Is this the will of Oldermere? Okay, what is this? The Red Death? It's gotta be the Red Death. Oh yeah. Yeah, it is. That's the Red Death, alright. Well, have fun up there, buddy. You're about to get killed. By me, or... <laughs> Your own plague. I need to pay more attention to these guys. I'm getting myself killed. <laughs> I don't want that to occur. Okay, um. Let's go ahead and drop our troops here. Just keep a lookout for how this is spreading. It seems to be. Okay. Hopefully, it skips us again. I don't think we'll get lucky like last time. Lorenzo, Parakito. I like Parakito. Plague approaches. All right. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, yeah, you're fine. Tension elsewhere. Could you seriously, like, stop hating me, please? Start swaying him. I don't know why I wasn't swaying him. Definitely should be. While trying to kill him, of course. <laughs> Do both at the same time, you know. Be a completely rational human. Try to kill a person you're trying to make them like you. Definitely not sociopathical. Crusade for New England. Uh, the Abbess... Uh, declared... Okay, so against the... Okay. Not too surprised by that. There it goes. Let her rip. Emperor Mauricio of the Cuban Empire has inherited Higato Bato. Bato? Wait, stop. You actually know who this is. Bata. Aldo of Bato. Oh, one of my castles. Oh, okay. Um, here. Have... County of Miami. Because that's actually one of our castles, which is good. And I want that. Because castles are actually good in your own province. Also, that's fully built up, so that's good. <laughs> Not even our own land is built up. I never understand how the AI does this so well. I guess it's because I go to war so much. While they just peace and wait. So they never have to uh, pay. Stuff like that. While I consistently waste all my money on wars. But hey, you can't argue with the results. We're Cuba. Most half of Florida. But half of Mexico. And the... Bahamas. So, you know. I'm not doing that badly. You know? 
and it's get Gavelston. Uh, well, actually, let's check for Red Death before we get Gavelston. Yeah, we're fine. <laughs> I don't want my troops landing in the Red Death. Alright, guys, that's the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed, of course, then feel free to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below if you f feel like it. And as always, have a good day.